Hi, everybody. Hello. How's it going? How are our, how are our volumes? Because I have no idea how anything is right now. Because different computer that we've been using. Speaking of, I should get my headphones. <laughs> nice. Oh boy, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since we did this setup. Mm hmm. Always a little Look. quiet. Okay, we'll bump up Lily. Radical. Hi, friends. Sorry that I was tardy. I was teaching. I was te I was teaching class, but I'm very excited to uh, to answer the the question. Who's that Pokemon? Cool. Well, it's time for the Pokemon quiz show. Um, I tried to figure out a way in Discord to. Drones, thank you for the sub. Also, Digital C, thank you for the sub earlier when we weren't here to say thank you for it. <laughs> God, that's amazing! You added the the thing at the top. The or has that happened? That has that been happening the whole time? That's been I happening. Yes. Really that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. The downside to us streaming things is you can't see when I just like fuck around with things. Uh, cool. So we're gonna start off this quiz. This quiz is for Lily, who knows very little to nothing about Pokemon. We're gonna start with a very simple, easy question, which is Pokemon Squirtle. Uh, a. This little turtle friend. B, this little turtle friend, C, this little turtle friend, or D, this little turtle friend. You're trying to tell me that C and D are not the same Pokemon? <laughs> uh, no. Is D, is D even a Pokemon? I mean, tell me, Ooh, tell wait, me. That's a, yeah, wait, 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 yeah, okay. wait. Mm, yeah. That's a good question. Wait, wait, what are, what are the, 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 the limiters of this yes, quiz that's true that's true i had a whole spiel i was going to start talking off explaining things then i forgot about doing that <laughs> um so how this quiz works you're getting points for <gasps> questions you're gonna have a final score at the end which will determine what level of pokemon master you are um it means i have to do math while we're doing this which will be fun um oh each question is worth five points if you would like a hint on any question it'll become like half points or like slight like delimitations mm. of points depending upon how things go there's also bonus points because the, why wouldn't there be bonus points? That's how thank you, quizzes thank you. work. Um, and yeah, uh, I have not looked at like any of chat things. Um, <laughs> yes, I am keeping score. I've got a piece of paper here with <laughs> the maximum number of points you can get, which will Ooh. be like your, your, your grading score. And then some random number of bonus points. It's probably wrong because I'm going to probably add more bonus points as we go. Um, but yes. Uh, so each of these questions, sometimes they're trick questions. Usually they're not. <laughs> Usually they're okay. pretty straightforward. Um, but, uh, yeah. Good to know. Good to know. I yeah, also wait, Lily, like we... do you want to tell us your background of how much you know about Pokemon slash if anything? Yes. Okay. I've never watched... Oh, oh, okay, wait. I've never watched any of the, like, TV shows or played any of the games, mm -hmm. video game or card-based otherwise. I, I, I never... It was not part of my childhood. I did, in college, watch the movie where Mewtwo is the bad guy. I think that's the first Pokemon movie. Okay. I think. I, Unless, or this only... Mewtwo Strikes Back. I don't remember which. <laughs> I, 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 watching it as, like, a young adult for the first time with no nostalgia involved, I was sitting there, like, laughing at the whole time, just being like, this is so bad! What's happening? This is so bad! And, like, questioning the, the basis of, like, so you make them fight each other, and then they live in a tiny stasis state of being for the so, rest of their existence in your pocket different media explore the miniature space that they live in in different ways in the pokemon well, manga okay. they do go into it's like they have like a little ecosystem in there and like can look outside oh. and see the rest of the world and stuff and then none of the rest of the things really touch if that that is okay, that way that's also hardly better but also <laughs> back to chat so that is the one thing i laughed through this entire movie <laughs> And then you get to the part where Ash dies and Pika goes, Pika? <laughs> and I started sobbing. <laughs> I started sobbing and I literally said out loud, I think I was like, that is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> that is not fair. You do not get to do that at the end of this shitty movie. <laughs> 
Uh. And then, so that's what I remember of that. And then I remember Mewtwo, it like not being his fault. He mm. like ends up like realizing, I don't know, stuff. And I, I don't remember what he does, but then he, he leaves in some, some context and Ash saved the day with Pika and everything is good. I'm realizing now also having said this, that I did also, <laughs> that, that makes me a true Pokemon. <laughs> um, yes, yes, he has. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mewtwo's well, got Mewtwo a fucked was. up past. Yeah. 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 Yes. yes. Um, but then I'm saying this, I also did watch that newer detective pikachu detective pikachu yes. drones did just bring up together. detective pikachu because they don't live in pokeballs in that one which is it is a much better world uh, because of that indeed no. indeed um well yes so that is my experience with it i remember very little about that also except there being a charizard uh, but i remember but so more of like you have seen yeah. squirtle on tv then i have it's c c is squirtle yes it is uh, um I also really like that the 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 thing in the background. It looks like he's making that wave, and it looks like D is like making the thing mm, come up behind him. A hundred percent is all Matt, who can't be here for the beginning of this. Um, oh, but uh, but yeah. Wait, oh, I've got notes on on what Thanks, on things on things about this also. So yes, A is a uh, Tortoga, which is a Pokemon. B is Choodle, which is also a Pokemon. C, as you said, is Squirtle. D is a fan-made Squirtle of just like oh, something okay. like, oh, what if I make a different Squirtle? Which is why I had to chop the background off and it looks a little bit shitty because of, oh, of that. Oh, I see, um, I see. I would not have noticed had you not said. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, All right. Hopefully. Also, shout out to, uh, what is it, the Hash Heart community? Like, <laughs> thank, thank, every, thank you everyone who had any hand in putting this together. We've been talking about this for so long, I'm super excited. <laughs> um everyone contributed at least one question and like the final final bit will be a conglomeration of everyone's contributions um Aww. but matt really like i just compiled the questions into slides and like started putting stuff together matt made these all look good <laughs> um Aww. it's yeah thank you big, matt big shout out to matt <laughs> um cool so we're, we're both back-end people that is not our story <laughs> uh cool on to the next question which of these dinosaurs is a Pokemon? A, this dino. B, oh, this dino. C, Fuck. this dino. D, this dino. Or E, this dino. Bonus <laughs> points if you can name any of these dinos and what or what they're from I only besides the one that one has a Pokemon. So, okay, yeah. I only have to do that with one? If you So if you can identify the Pokemon, five points. One uh -huh. point for every... Oh, oh yes. you know what these are. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, well, one of them is mine. It's a growl from <laughs> yes. Neil Pets. It is E. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> my, my domain, uh, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know any of these other dinos. That's fascinating. I, I, hmm. Um, well, is D a really old version of Godzilla? It is. That is correct. Awesome. Not, oh, that's... side note, mm -hmm. incredible uh, Pokeball behind you. Oh. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I mm -hmm. realized I had a big whiteboard behind me. I was like, I'm going to draw a Pokemon here, and then realized I only have a couple minutes. I'm going to draw a Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to get in real close and figure out what, what that to, is. To... Hmm. Also, this dino is holding someone dressed in the outfit of what he looks like. So okay. it's just like, that's not, not identifying information, was. unfortunately. Excellent, and excellent. yeah, these, these people are just people. Yeah. Well, okay. It's definitely not C. Um, do you know what C I is? I don't know. I don't think I do. Oh, yes. People are asking, uh, Lily, can you see oh. chat? Oh, sorry. I was going back and forth. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, cool. Oh, I... Should we? I think the rule. Yeah. Okay. So, drones. Actually, so what would y'all prefer? Should I not look at chat and you guys can do spoilers, or should I go back and forth between chat and we don't do spoilers? I think we shouldn't do spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Like digital see Like yeah, no spoilers. But like, if people want to talk in chat about things and like engage with that, because you you yeah, deducing and figuring stuff out is. I think that's more fun. But yeah, chat chime in for sure. Okay, so 
Look away during um, questions at least. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm stuck between A and B. Mm-hmm. I'm, I think it's A. Okay. But uh, Talk through your my, process, yeah. Yeah, 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 yes. Like, like a coding interview. <laughs> um, I think it's A, but I am feeling like the reason that I'm feeling like it's not B is because I don't remember there being that looks like a mask that that dino is wearing on top mm. like it does not look like part of that dinosaur mm-hmm. and i feel like that's not really so much uh uh um like a pokemon aesthetic pokemon kind of thing, thing? Yeah. yeah um but i do feel like the rest of that one's body feels more uh pokemon like mm-hmm. okay um, so I'm caught, I'm caught between them. Um, but I'm trying also to think about like other animes of the time. Like, oh, so some of this, wide. there is a, as you kind of oh, hinted wow. at with the Hanna Rivera Godzilla, it is an old Godzilla. It's not Japanese Godzilla. Also, it's an American Godzilla. Definitely pulling Pokemon from wide variety of like modern to nineties, like right. okay, and okay. also pulling from anime and other stuff that is older to to present too. So there's there's ranges of things. So yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I also just had a had a thought before you clarified that that um, I'm a little bit ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I feel like I I think the answer is no, but I do not know. <clears throat> Are there dragons in Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Uh, there are two dragons, which are the dragon balls. When you bring them together and you say the things you need to say, they become a big dragon that grants your wish. Um, Mm -hmm. hence the dragon balls give you a dragon. Um, but there are dinosaurs in Dragon Ball Z. So I could have actually grabbed a dinosaur from there, which I'm realizing now. And that would have been good, but I did not. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, would you, would you like like to lock in your answer between A or B? Uh, DLC, I feel like I'm going to fail you so, <laughs> so immediately. Um, yeah, let's go with, I'm not, I'm not going to question my thought process. I'm going with A. A is correct. Um, yes! A is Tarantum, Tarantrum, uh, which is, I think, from 6th, or, he's one of the ancient dinosaur Pokemon. I don't remember which generation it's from. I apologize, y'all. I forgot to write that down. B <laughs> is um, Greymon from Digimon, which was the oh. same era as early Pokemon, which, as you said, like it's got similar themings there. Um, C is also Godzilla, but it's oh, Zilla, the ask. American Godzilla. <laughs> Damn it. I was Okay, so I wouldn't have gotten the point for, is that also Godzilla? Oh uh, no! If you said it's also Godzilla, I, 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 okay. if you were if you were thinking that but hesitated, no, you, no, 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 you can it's have okay. no, no. I didn't, I didn't say it out loud. All right, all right, all right. Um, I respect the quiz. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it, but I respect the quiz. Um, and then yes, uh, D as you said is Godzilla, and and uh, Grarl is is the Grarl. <laughs> um, I need to refer to my notes because I don't remember all what well, all these things are called. Um, cool. All right, next. This is a a question from Matt. Um, it's very good, and I like oh, it a lot. No. It's, um, which of these Pokeball descriptions is inaccurate? A. Luxury Ball. Increases your Pokemon's growing friendship with you by double. Um, that was supposed to be B, but whatever. C. <laughs> typing Ball. <laughs> has a 10% chance of changing a Pokemon's typing. B. Feather Ball. A more aerodynamic ball that is better for hucking in the air. <laughs> And D, Dusk Ball, improving the chance of catching Pokemon at night or in a cave. I did I mean to move like this to later in the quiz, but we're just going to do it gonna now. Say, like, I feel like this question is is unfair. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this would make me a better Pokemaster. Um, but I'm going to go with B. I, don't, I, I, call, I call bullshit on the, on the Feather Ball. ball? That mm-hmm. is unfortunately incorrect. Ah, um. It. The answer is C, the typing ball, uh, which oh. I didn't know was a thing, but apparently there's a Pokemon typing game called Learn with Pokemon Typing Adventure. And when you type a Pokemon's name, you throw this Pokeball. <laughs> so it doesn't change. Type, typing also, little. there was a little bit of uh, a catchy there of Pokemon's typing is like fire, water, flying, right. which don't change generally. They just stay the uh-huh. same type. So um interesting but but 
good good guess on Featherball because Featherball is actually an ancient Pokeball that came out in the newest um, Pokemon Arceus, which is I think why they're using the term hucking <laughs> instead of throwing because I guess it's to make it different. I don't know. Interesting. I guess um, I should have I should have noted the the use of the word hucking and and said to myself, you know, oh, that's a that suggests it. It's a it's a real thing. Mm, it's true. It has it's a true. Re- it has a specific word associated with it. <laughs> um, uh, well, digital C, I think you've you've uh, you've you've isolated the reason which I will not be a uh, a Pokemon master <laughs> at the end of this quiz is that <laughs> I didn't know that I didn't, I didn't know using the correct Pokeball is key to completing your decks. Um, it's true. Uh, Lol. A hucking berry. <laughs> drones i give it a thumbs down and uh, uh i give clap. you two thumbs up to counter that because that was very good <laughs> all right next um pokemon yeah. professors are known for giving you your starting pokemon they're also all named after what that's just a blank space not three characters but there's a common theme between pokemon professors um if you remember any professor's names feel free to say them for extra points um and that might help you identify the theme. The only one that I think you would know from this image is the one on the far right. Nope. Is is that your dad? <laughs> uh, no. That is not not my dad. Uh, well, I'm I, I'm sure you're right that if I remembered a name, it would help me with the uh, the info. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to just Oh, wait, go hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I forgot to keep clicking. There's A, B, C, oh. D. Oh, there's options. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank this you. is why I have the screen with the notes to my left so I don't forget dumb things like this. <laughs> uh. Wow. So, yes, I A, love... naturalist. B, bento box foods. C, trees. Or D, colors. I remember someone talking about the towns being named after colors because mm. um, it was like palette palette town and we were like yeah why like someone was like wow why is it called palette town if everyone else is colors and someone was like uh color palette that, <laughs> that. so it's not not d um i would love if it was naturalists but i don't think that is the way that they went for instance, because the towns are colors, and that feels <laughs> like a large leap. Um, I I think it's trees, but I really want to say bento box foods. <laughs> it's an amazing, amazing thing. Um, and I think I'm gonna. I already lost one, so let's go with bento box foods. Let's keep it fun. <laughs> uh, you would have been correct if you ah. had said trees. Um, Damn. This this is also technically not true because the most recent game that just came out like a week or two ago uh broke this pattern for the first time but the names oh. previously have been oak who is the one on the far right elm oh. birch rowan juniper sycamore uh kukui magnolia sonia which is short for so- sander sonia which i've never heard of before and laventon which i also had never heard of before but uh Interesting. you were you were very close on that one that was close. Um, that was close. All right. I, I really I wanted it to be the bento box. Bento box would have been very good. Yes. Whoever <laughs> chose that as an option, claps to you. That that qu- question was also a, a Matt special. I, I saw Thank that and was you, very Matt. happy because it was A, very good, and B, bento box was a great, <laughs> great option. <laughs> um, so we're moving on to a new section here. Um, yeah. These are all going to be following the theme of Is It a Pokemon? Um, all the Pokemon you see here, um, are fake for different reasons. Uh, in the Pokemon movie, uh, you saw Venus Dois, uh, which is a mix of Blastoise and Venusaur. I guess I think it was in the movie. Maybe it was in the anime. I don't remember. Um, there's also Mew 3. <laughs> Mew 3 <laughs> from the manga where, uh, Red's Clefairy turns into Mew 3 randomly and then there's just like, it's a joke. Um, as you said, uh, Luigi, Nintendo for April Fool's Day posted that Luigi is an evolution of Lickitung, <laughs> which Incredible. is amazing. And then the other two are technically our Pokemon, but the forms are not real. And, and yeah. Mm. So now you've gotten a taste of, of some of these 
let's go on. Is it a Pokemon? So how are these going to work? I'll give you a picture. If you mm-hmm. want, I can give you the name too, but name would mean you get one point less. Um, or if you guess the name because you happen to know it, you get an extra bonus mm. point, plus on top of the five for just knowing what it is. So this little little cat friend. Not a Pokemon. Would you... I'm yeah. That's that's just straight up right. Yeah, you got it. This is uh, this is Gatamon or Tailmon. It is a Digimon, or sorry, she's she's a Digimon. Um, yeah, that's uh also a thing that came out at the same time as as OG Pokemon, which is again like the Dino you saw before, very similar themes and yeah. All right, next we have this ah! little little old pal friend. And if you, again, just let me know if you'd like to know the name or if you want to guess the name. If, okay, if I, can I, can I like say something or ask something and if it's not right, will I lose a point? No, 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 definitely not. Okay. You never lose points. (laughs) Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Is that a mimic being Pikachu or mimics actually like much better at mimicking things? You are so close on so many levels. (laughs) Is a Mimic not a Pokemon? And I'm just taking that from something else. There is not a Pokemon named Mimic. Okay. I don't know its name, but I'm going to say yes, it's a Pokemon. It, it is, in fact, a Pokemon. And the name of this Pokemon is not Mimic. It is oh, Mimic is it? U. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Very, very close. Damn it. I never, I never would have gotten it. Um, but it's, I was going to say, oh, is it Mimic? Mimic U is a Pokemon that basically made a Pikachu costume because Pikachu is the most beloved Pokemon because, Aww. yes, and it wants everyone to love it. So it made this little costume to be like, hey, love me. Um, I'm Mimikyu. There, That's terrifying. There's a very creepy song that the Pokemon company released of like Mimikyu singing about how it wants everyone to love it because it wants to be Pikachu. It's wild. Um, but yeah, the actual Pokemon <laughs> is this little shadow thing underneath the, yes, <laughs> the, the right, thing. Yes, right, with the eyes. I, yes. I saw the eyes, I was like, oh, wait, wait. Uh, interesting. <clears throat> okay, all right, all right. Um, also, but hello, uh, Hen, my friends are my power. Hero. Uh, thank you for joining us on this yeah, wonderful... Thank you for joining. And thank you for following. Thank you for following! Um, to give some background... <laughs> Uh, Lily knows nothing about Pokemon besides very minimal things. Um, and myself, Max, with the rest of the community have put together this Pokemon quiz. Um, and yeah, you're doing pretty well so far. I'm I'm not, yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. On to our next. Is it a Pokemon? (laughs) And if you know the name. What if I was just like, burn it to the ground? Yes. (laughs) Um, no, that is once more from my domain of internet nostalgia. That is an Aisha from Neopens. That is, that is correct. Yes. You got it. Having having fun. Having a good time. I was slightly upset that when I went, I've been taking these pictures mostly from like the wikis of those like things. (laughs) When I went to the Neopets wiki, the picture was this big and I couldn't get a bigger vision of it, which is why it's so pixelated. And I didn't want to go to Neopets.com. <laughs> that's that's smart. No, no, it's good. It uh, it adds to the nostalgia factor. Like it adds yes. feels of, the, of the time. Right? Add more JPEG. <laughs> yes. Um. Yes. Oh right. man. Yeah. Hunch, oh Hunch yes. Hero, you just missed us playing the Darkest Fairy. We just finished oh playing gosh. a PS2 Neopets game. <laughs> So yes, there are, as you've seen, there are some Neopets scattered around in here to see if you notice them. But yes, is this a Pokemon? Also, if you'd like the name because you think it would be a good hint towards things, that's also like, the names are there to help you if you think that they will help. Okay, I'll take the name of this one. This is Pumpkinmon. Pumpkinmon? I can't, I cannot in good conscience suggest that that is a pokemon how come (laughs) because its name is 
pumpkin mom. <laughs> and it has an axe in the middle of its head. And it looks like it's sewn together like Oogie Boogie. I feel like it's a Pokemon, but I I cannot in good conscience say it's a Pokemon. I so have you, to say no. So you're you are correct. It is not in fact oh, Pokemon. Oh god. It is it is Oh thank god. It is another Digimon. Pumpkinmon is a Digimon. Digimon, what are you doing? They just like going the extra mile of here's something weird. <laughs> Um, okay. But also, Pokemon having weapons is a thing. Just to throw that idea out there for you. Like, having an axe, having a hammer, having a, a sword. Like, oh, that is a thing that Pokemon do have. But in, in their head is generally... in their body? <laughs> yeah, gen generally no. Cool. All right. Awesome. <clears throat> Thank you, Pokemon. All right. Ah! This little, little, <laughs> little friendly guy... Um... I can tell you a little about him if you would like. Sure, yes, please. Uh, so, sorry, the name or sort of information about him? Uh, some, inf some information. Okay. Um, you might think that he looks like a pile of trash. You would be correct. <laughs> that's that's the information right, I got I'm gonna, you. I'm going to say yes. I'm, yes, this is a Pokemon. That is correct. Do you want to take a name, a guess towards his name? Um... Mm. I can't think. I know some of some a lot of the original Pokemon was like a name backwards, right? That is true. But this is a this is a later Pokemon. This is from this is a later Pokemon. Fifth gen, I think. Like Garbagio? I don't know. Garbagio, <laughs> Garbagio is very close. It's Garbador. Ah, damn. Um, I will. I will give you one point out of the two for getting the name right there because that was that was very very close. <laughs> same same idea. <laughs> um, yeah, Hunchy Hero is saying Gar Gar Garbamon. <laughs> Garbamon. <laughs> All right, next we have this little pink little little, little happy friend, little little duck friend. Mm, can I get this one's name? Yes, this one's name is Mochi. Mochi. Adorable. I want it to be a Pokemon, but I feel like, I think I got to go with no. No? And that's your final answer? Uh, yes, you're correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, okay. It is, it is not a, it I is mean, not a, now I feel like I was wrong, but yes. <laughs> um, it is not a Pokemon. Um, it is from Monster Rancher. Um, another, like, game-like series where you would collect lots of monster things and collected them on discs for some reason because they were all about like the cd disc thing i don't know it's a it's, it was a it was back in the 90s everything was weird back then <laughs> um but yes it's also like a little a platypus without his skin <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no <laughs> oh, all right what this little guy this is no. a more modern creature from like just it's uh, it's from a more modern era it is some of these have been like older ones. This is just to give you some time frame. It is it is more recent, but it is. I don't. Mm, I don't like the idea of this like humanoid entity being a Pokemon stuck in a pocket. So mm. I'm gonna say no. Uh, I hope not. That is correct. Okay. Um, it is from Yokai <laughs> Watch. Um, would you like to take a guess at what its name could be? I can also give you a little information about Yokai Watch if you think that will make it easier to guess the name. Sure. Yeah. Yokai Watch is another catch Pokemon kind of series game from Japan. Um, the idea is you catch Japanese spirits or like things. Oh. Um, its nose is a giveaway if you happen to know what the name of that is. Pikachu? Uh, not Pikachu. Pinocchio? <laughs> Uh, Pikachu? No. <laughs> it is neither Pikachu God. nor Pinocchio. <laughs> Damn. Um, it's a Tengu. It's a Tengu. Tengu are the red-faced, long-nosed Japanese spirits. If, oh. Yeah. Um, More you know. Yeah, Drones points out, wait till you hear about Machamp and all the other humanoid Pokemon. There's a lot of humanoid Pokemon. Oh, no. All right. Next. Something else. Ooh. That is similar themed. <laughs> I it stands on uh, Geta and has a long nose. <laughs> yeah. 
This doesn't feel like a Pokemon to me either, but I feel like based on quiz rules, it like we're we're at the point where it should be a yes. And I don't, I don't, I can't. I honestly define... can't tell you if there's more yeses or nos because I didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> okay, all right, that's good to know. I, this does not feel like a Pokemon to mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. but I can't. How come? I yeah, like I can't put my finger on why it, there's something about the proportions that feel like yeah no i would guess this is a digimon i'm gonna say i'm gonna say no this is not a pokemon uh that is incorrect oh man this is shift tree shift tree uh which is in fact a pokemon it's a final evolution of it of a of a um ah. oh my god what does it evolve from chat please help me i also apologies if i get any names wrong i have never spoken most of these names out loud without like people correcting me. Um, but yeah, shift trees. So the final evolutions do become a little bit more less friendly sometimes. C dot, yes, Nuzleaf. thank you. Um, C dot and oh, Nuzleaf, no. yes, and then shift tree, yes, yes, yes. Aww. Um, <laughs> shift tree was on my team when in college I was the grass gym leader. <laughs> Aw, good times. Was that oh, before my time, or was that uh, during? That was during your time. Um, okay. I think that was. That, it sounded sound familiar. That, I think that was my senior year. I think yeah. I think because we only that did it for right. one year. Yeah. Oh, oh, then yes, definitely yes. Um, Dan talked about doing it for a while, but it ended up just being <laughs> that our final year. That, um, so yes, feels, right. is this a Pokemon? Uh. So, some, do you, yeah, mm, no, nah, I'm not going to say anything. Never mind. I don't want to sway your, your opinion either way. Right. Mm, I feel like this could be, a, like, an, a later a later gen Pokemon from a, a different t- uh, type of show about it that's a, an animation that I have, a style that I have not seen and that I don't associate with Pokemon. This is from a game. And... It's not from a show. Oh! If that helps. Oh! <laughs> But also the, the newer games are changing up the style a lot more. It's not just like, it's not pixel art. It's not just 2D. It is, it is 3D stuff. Right. I am looking at the hill behind it with the horns coming out of it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, mm, I feel like that was a thing. I'm going to say yes. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. There, this is from Monster Hunter. Oh. It is a baby monster, which Pokemon do also come from eggs. That was the hint I was going to give, but then I was like, wait, okay. I don't want to like make you think, yes, it is because it's coming from an egg. Um, mm. But there is a small chance you could know this thing's name because that red Monster Hunter sweater I wear is themed after this oh. monster. Um, no. Its name begins with an R, if that is helpful. Thank you so much, but it is not. I don't uh, know. It's a Rathalos. Rathalos. Yes. I Which... would not have gotten that in a million years. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it's a weird name, but it is, it is a very good friendly friend. Um, this is from not the regular Monster Hunter games. It's from Monster Hunter Stories, where basically oh. you befriend them and then go fight monsters with monster friends. Um, this Rathalos like grows up and you get to ride on it. It's like, yay. Oh. Yeah, it's it's very cute. It's it's a good series. I haven't played it, but it's a good series from what I've heard. Is this a Pokemon? <laughs> also, yes. if, if the, yes, yes, that's your final answer. Yes, that was very quick and definitive. You were correct, <laughs> but talk us. How do you how do you get there? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's something about it. Looks like a Pokemon to me, and the the like type of animation or not animation what type of what am i talking about type of, of drawing i don't know yes looks yeah. looks like it and also um the what the the defining factor for me that made it a yes was that it has a weapon built into itself <laughs> which y'all specified mm, is a thing that is true that that pokemon have 
Um, and this is much less alarming than the axe <laughs> kept in the head. In the head, yeah. In the head. Uh, so I was like, I my thought process was, if I had not seen that conversation, I'd probably say no, because that looks like a rocket launcher, which shouldn't be a Pokemon. <laughs> but knowing that it is, yes. Um, couldn't couldn't tell you its name. Yeah, as in, I, I don't think this is one that you could get the name. It's Genesect. Um, oh. It's... I, unless I am incorrect in saying this because I forgot to look up this, but it is I believe it's the DNA Pokemon. Ah! No, I might be thinking of a different. I don't know. Chat correct me if I'm wrong there. But this is a like genetically engineered Pokemon. <laughs> um, okay. So it is built to be more more machine than Mon kind of thing. I see. Is it definitely pronounced that way and not Genesect like Genesis? Uh. Zygarde is a DNA Pokemon. You're totally right. Yes. Or Deoxys. I was thinking it might be Deoxys as I said it out loud. I can't remember. Um, it could be Genesect. I, again, I have no idea to say any of these things. I've <laughs> read them in my head and then maybe discuss them occasionally. It's the bug robot that changes types. Yes. But yeah, it is. Matt's hey, Matt. Here! Um, Yay. Matt, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, also, apologies. This... I'm going to move Lily's face real quick because people can't see that uh, right now. Um, I forgot I was going to do this earlier. This should help. There is a lovely Pokeball in the top right corner. Oh my goodness. But it's part of the theme of these slides, which our faces line up. And the top of left and right were the best places for most of the stuff with a move the least amount of things. But unfortunately, this Pokeball got covered. And I'm it's very beautiful. sorry. They're beautiful. Um, props Deoxys because deoxyribonucleic acid and the oh wiggly God. arms is why Deoxys is the DNA Pokemon. That makes sense. Yeah. Both, both of those reasons why are equal equal reasons why that would be the case. Um. Also, Matt, that's amazing. Thank you that you had Cam for one more week. Like, we, this incredible. is timed perfectly <laughs> that you you were able to do this for us. Thank you so much. Incredible. All right, next. This little 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 engine thing. It it's taking so long for my brain to process what I'm seeing here. <laughs> uh, would you like the name? <laughs> Yes. Revive room. No, I said that mostly because I a knew you would never guess that, and B <laughs> is just hilarious. But this this little guy, he's got he's got wheels. He's like mm -hmm. a little engine with a little eye. He's crawling into my nightmares. Or excuse me, <laughs> rolling into my nightmares. Uh, no, this is not a Pokemon. Surprisingly. This is, in fact, a Pokemon. This oh came out God, in the really? newest generation of Pokemon, oh, which is part of the reason... It's that... Charlie XCX. <laughs> uh, Part of the reason the image is so crappy is that it is it is a newer one that they have not published. Here's the good picture of it yet, and that's why it's Pixels. Wow. Um, it evolves from Vavroom. Yes, the names oh are... My I've yeah, River Room, River. Yeah, so wait, the, it's Vavroom turns into Re Vavroom. Yes, <laughs> I think it's Rev Rev of Room. Yes, but, but yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. It's Steel and Poison. This car runs on knots. <laughs> uh, Matt, I'm glad you made it in time for this. <laughs> it's a vacuum. Is it a vacuum? I just thought it was a I car. I, but yes, a vacuum actually makes sense too. Varum to Revavroom. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. I was adding a V. Oh, hello. What? No. No. This is not a Pokemon. That is correct. Okay. Would you like to take a guess at what it is? What it's from? It's been a, a previously reused theme that, like, it has been mentioned in this. Is it a Pokemon? Theme okay, before? okay. So I was gonna say it's it's definitely not a Transformer, but that like came to mind. The, I, so, uh, do you want a refresher on the different medias it could be from? Well, okay. So, Digimon, um, um, Neopets, Dragon Ball Z, 
Neopets. Uh, Dragon Ball Z was not actually is not actually in this at all. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So is it just then? Uh, Monster Digimon, Rancher. Digimon, Monster Rancher. Monster Hunter, <laughs> different. Uh-huh. Uh, Yokai Watch, and and yes, Digimon as you said. Oh yes, if you if you like the name. Oh sure, yes, I'll take the name. Omnimon. Omnimon. Okay, so it's Digimon. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> um, this leads to Matt's question this is of. A <laughs> This leads to Matt's question of, have you learned, and yes, have you learned the common characteristics of all Digimon? No. Well, okay, so they end in Mon. Yes, that is correct. That That's it. That that gets you a oh, full five point bonus point of, you've figured out the theme of Digimon is, oh, they always goodness. end in Mon. <laughs> which means the names get ridiculous. Incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, wait, let me, okay. They were not. Haha, <laughs> sorry. All good. Published uh, now. Yep, sorry. A student reached out and it turned out I had not published the instructions for the assignment. Oh, no. <laughs> they are now published and uh, they're ready, ready to go back. Nice. Okay. Do, 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 do. Woo! So, yeah, is this thing i don't know how to describe this thing uh is this being <laughs> knife arms i yeah <laughs> i want them to be okay this one's a neo <laughs> um, i i want them to be but i can't there's i i there's no i have no understanding of um Pokemon, like I have no sense of of a part of Pokemon, like of the world of the universe where this would come from. Mm -hmm. So, I can I get their name? Yes, yes, you can. Cerulege, because there's Cerulean and Edge. Yeah, yeah. Which is, which is a good name. I didn't that didn't click for it me until just as I read this name. <laughs> The name makes me think they are a Pokemon, but mm. I don't. I, I got. I think I gotta go with no. No, it it is in fact a Pokemon. It is a Pokemon. It is, it right. is again from the newest, um, the newest uh, generation of Pokemon. But this one they released a good picture for for some reason. I don't know why. Because Cerulege is fucking cool. It's that's true. That's probably why. Um. Instead Matt asks, has Lily learned about Pokemon naming? Wait, what about Pokemon naming? I don't know if I've learned about Pokemon naming, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Sword Art. <laughs> oh, it's like a semi-story involved? It's all portmanteaus? Did I say that wrong? I, I don't remember that what that word means, so I, um, I'm going to just go on to the next one and not well, look so stupid. So I thought... I thought that one generation, at least, was, like, all the words backwards. First generation had a number of those. So Ekans is snake backwards. Arbok is cobra oh. backwards. And some things Garbage like that. Odor. Oh, that's so interesting. But, yes, the, the combination of Smash and Two Words together is also another another common theme. Oh. I don't know if we've actually had a lot of... I guess Genesect, Genes, Insect, Rive of Room... Swift tree. Yeah, we actually haven't had a besides Garbodor, I don't know if we've had a lot of good examples of that. Um Also what so like what's the rule for like mimic you? Uh it's a mimic and then Pikachu. Oh uh... Oh Shifty Tree. Oh. That never clicked for me before. But yes, that is that is a lot of them. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> huh. What about this round, friend? Uh, to give some context, this is also from the 90s, so the style is definitely different um, than anything else we've seen previously. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think my brain is having a really hard time because half of my brain thinks it's adorable <laughs> and half of my brain thinks it's going to kill me. <laughs> Those are both the correct answer. <laughs> okay. No? <laughs> that is correct. It is not a Pokemon. Okay, okay. It's, it um, doesn't feel like a Pokemon. It is from Dragon Quest Monsters, which was another series. Dragon Quest is an RPG series where you 
play Hero, go off and do RPG things. Uh, right. Dragon Quest Monsters is a spin-off series. Um, you're not going to guess this thing's names. Uh, what about... <laughs> Uh, you basically, when in Pokemon styled, would go collect monsters, but the system worked differently. Instead of catching them in Pokeballs, you would give them food, and then after you knock them out, they'd sometimes be like, yo, you want to be friends? Like, you gave me food. Or they'll just be like, hey, you're cool, let's be friends, and then they'd go out, like, live on a farm. And then you can sometimes take them with you and be like, all right, four of us are going on an adventure today, and, like, go back and go Aww. out there. It is a much more better system than they live in little capsules or in a digital box. <laughs> yeah. Um, so and I think this is our last one. <gasps> is it a Pokemon? Oh my god. Okay, so wait, yeah, okay, yeah. So I know <laughs> it's La Oh, it's like Lotoad, Lotad, Lotad. Lotad is this correct. This is Lotad, the Pokemon. Yes. Um, and the reason that I know this is because I did an internship when I was like 25, and um, oh my god, wait, I did an internship when I was 25. I told all of the um, I think like all of our apps in 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 our code base were named names of Pokemon, which is a terrible move. Yes, Never do yes, that. It is. <laughs> um, uh. And I just had no context for any of them. Um, but one of my friends that I made there, oh, yeah, one of the friends I made there, she loved um, posting this particular GIF of uh, like whenever some, like whenever someone, I don't know if it was whenever someone fucked up or whenever someone like wanted to go, I don't know when it was appropriate it was this gif of uh pokemon were like they had they had fallen and they were all in trees and they were falling out and lotad was on the ground and he was like i will save my friend like here fall now and he just missed it and his friend would fall to the ground and hurt himself and then he would run to the next friend and miss it and it run it would fall to the ground and hurt himself and for some reason it was so heartbreaking to me, this gift of just like, oh my god, he's like, he wants so badly to help. He wants so badly to, to save his friends from this pain. And he cannot do it. <laughs> um, that I would cry every time I saw this gift. And my friend felt so bad when she realized that. Like, when I told her that, she was like, what? I was like, no, it's a good gift. It's a good gift. I just, it makes me sad. Thank you, Digital C, for posting the GIF. Um, I can't oh, it. play it easily without, like, changing a bunch of things and possibly uh, revealing, like, future slides to Lily, so not going to play it, but thank you for that so that everyone else can appreciate it. He's trying so hard! <laughs> uh, and he just fucks up real bad every time. He's uh, trying so hard, and he feels so <clears throat> bad. Oh. Man. All right, we are done with this section of is it a Pokemon? Um, you did quite well though. Um, we're moving on to like some more some more challenging pro questions now. Um, oh, like next kind of chunk of of questions. Um, for chat, can you identify what each of the the name or owner of each of these three Pikachu's? And for Lily. <laughs> If you can do that too, Lily, props. I don't think there's anything for you for that. Um, but Lily, which of these move that Pikachu cannot learn? Thundershock? Mm -hmm. Volt Tackle? Mm -hmm. Hyper Beam? Surf? Pikachu, for some context, is the electric rodent Pokemon. Lightning, right? The electric rodent. Um, I mean, I feel like... It this could could very i feel like we're getting to the part where like these could very easily be a trick of like pikachu pikachu can learn like you know super beam but not hyper beam mm. sort of thing but uh for this intro one i'm going to say surf he, 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 pikachu cannot do surf uh pikachu can learn surf weirdly oh, enough uh there's a pikachu can learn some weird moves because they just wanted it to, and there is a surfing Pikachu is a, a thing in there. Hyper Beam was the... This was a trick question. Okay. Was, yes. Oh, man. 
Do we have oh. a, a picture of uh, Pikachu doing surf? I forgot to add that, which I am sorry about. I had a bunch of pictures yeah. of Pikachu here and then kept yeah, changing Matt, them Matt's over and it. over again. <laughs> and I, uh, a goof. Thanks, um, Matt. Uh, That's horrendous. Alone, Raichu is a surfer too. Yes, Pikachu has evolved form of Raichu, which you may or may not know. Alolan Raichu is a different version of it, and it surfs on its tail. Aww. Um, I also don't have pictures of either of those. Um, but to... Uh, did you see you are correct? The right one is Ash's P Pikachu. Um, uh, Matt, you are correct. This is um, Richie's Pikachu um, named Sparky. Mm. Anyone got a guess at whose Pikachu is on the top here? The different shaped head is kind of a, a, a maybe a giveaway. Misty? No. It's another... I don't know who Misty is. Misty is a water trainer. She is the leader of the water gym in the original Pokemon games. Uh, mm. May? No. Um, this is Red's Pikachu from the Pokemon Origin series. Um, cool. Huh. All right, Lily. Which of these pop stars has not made a Pokemon music video? Also, I'm going to move what? our faces real quick uh, so that everyone can appreciate how good this whole thing that Matt made was <laughs> of Poketons at the top left. Buy tickets now. Search here. This is so good, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Matt, this is so good. All right, I want to put us back so we can get to the question. Which of these pop stars has not made a Pokemon music video? A, Katy Perry. B, Ed Sheeran. C, Post Malone, mm. or D, Selena Gomez. These are all their Wikipedia pictures, which are all bad, but for all very different reasons. Mm. <laughs> yes, mm. uh, Drones, you're completely right. 10 out of 10, Matt wins this stream. <laughs> oh, yes. I will do the uh, math I'm to gonna... prove that later, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say D. I don't think Selena Gomez has done one. That is correct. Oh, shit! Um, I don't have the music video for these because I forgot to look them up, and I didn't want to get DMCA'd by posting <laughs> them. But, uh, I believe someone posted at least one of them in the Discord. Um, <laughs> Matt, yes, Matt has been <laughs> championing this question <laughs> for forever. Um, I also didn't know that this was a question, like, was a thing until Matt mentioned it. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing either, but, like, immediately when you said each person, I was like, oh, if anyone has a Pokemon song, it's 100% Katy Perry. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I don't know, it seemed, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, another anime question. Ash Ketchum is 10 years old in the first season of the Pokemon anime. Uh, how old is he in the latest season? A, 10. B, 12. C, 15. Or D, 9. Ah! Oh my god. Uh, and here are representations of him from the different animes. Um, I think... I mean, first one is the one on the right, then second here on the left. I think that um, third and fourth are these two middle ones, and then far right, and then the left here is the most recent one. I don't know if that Wait, will help you at all, that's but... A, that's a nine-year-old. He's nine. <laughs> is that your final answer? He's gotten younger in the series? Yes. It's a prequel. <laughs> uh, that is incorrect. <laughs> he has stayed 10 years old okay. for the decades that, that he has been on the show. Be, yeah. I, that was going to be, but. Yeah. That I, looks like a very small child. Yes, yeah. No, that was. He's He looks younger than ever. <laughs> Even though there have been more episodes than days in a year. <laughs> oh, man. Um. It's, he's been 10 since 1996, yes. <clears throat> All right. What do these four things have in common and share with you? With me? Three of them are Pokemon. One of them is a person in the Pokemon world. Um, I cannot give you more clues without kind of giving you the answer to this. But, um... Yeah. Do all Pokemon of a single being have the same gender? Um, some can, but mm -hmm. that's not the case here. Um, okay. 
<clears throat> mm. Are they all allergic to gluten? Uh, I don't know any of their dietary habits, so I, I cannot say. <laughs> uh, do they not know what Pokemon are? Well, three of them would not have to understand what they are, so no, that is that is not the fair. case. It's fair, it's fair, it's fair. Um, um, you can ask me more questions. Like, yeah, keep, keep asking questions. Like, yeah, yeah. Are the are they all um uh like mm, no that wouldn't make sense I was gonna ask like had they not evolved yet but I was like how do we define that so uh, to I mean to, for Pokemon evolution terms first form uh okay. first form of two forms first form of three forms first form of two forms uh I think this is the second form correct it might be the third form of a evolutionary chain and a human being. <laughs> Yeah, this is we, second of second we form. Thank you, Maxwell. Um, <laughs> Not the um, same way as Pokemon. Too. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Can I get a hint? Um, the what could a person have in common with Pokemon? A name. But three Pokemon wouldn't have the same name. Is That's there, true. Is, is Lily in their names? That is correct. Ah! Uh, the the Pokemon we have here are Lillipup, Lillipup, oh! uh, Lilip, uh, Lilligant, and then this person is Lily. Spilt the same way as you do, actually. Really? That's yeah. so cool. Um, and also, Matt put a wonderful flower motif around there to, to continue. Aww. All right, Not we're moving on. Up. We're moving on to our next section. What types are these Pokemon? Ooh, um, shit. So all Pokemon can have one type or two types, um, based on kind of who they are. Um, mm -hmm. They are one of these sixteen or eighteen. I can numbers. Um, mm -hmm. which are bug, dark, dragon, electric, fairy, fighting, fire, flying, ghost, grass, ground, ice, normal, poison, psychic, rock, steel, and water in no particular order. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, I'll start off by giving you pictures of them. If you want the names, I can give you the names. If you know the name, you'll get a bonus point for that. Um, and I'll let you know how many types, uh, they can be. Um, awesome thank you all right and when you say that they can be multiple types i'm just curious is that like one evolution is one type and then the next ev the next form is another or can they be multiple at once uh so one evolution will only ever be one type sometimes there's different forms of that evolution so mm. do you know what this pokemon is is that charizard that is correct this is charizard okay fire type yes that is one of the so yes charizard has two types um, okay. One of which is fire. That's correct. Um, is the other one fighting? Uh, or, okay, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait let me ask yeah, a question. So yeah, so yeah. You can that. talk through any of your thoughts on any of these. Okay. So for a... Almost said Neopet. For a Pokemon <laughs> to be able to fly, do they have to be flying type? That's a hard question to answer. <laughs> Sometimes flying type have wings. Sometimes flying types do not have wings. Sometimes Pokemon that fly do not have wings. And sometimes um, Pokemon that should fly do not have wings. <laughs> so there's not really a good answer to that question, but sometimes that is true. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with fighting. With fighting? That is... You you got half halfway there. It is fire, but he's also flying. Oh, it flying. is flying. It is flying. Darn. Yes. Um. So yeah, on to our next one. What type is this Pokemon? This is one that doesn't have two forms. Um, if you can guess its name. Nope. Uh, uh, I'll give you a hint. Mm -hmm. You've seen this Pokemon before. This is another form of a Pokemon you've seen before. This is kind of a trick question. Is that is this like a 
dark Charizard? It is it is also Charizard, yes. Okay. Um This is a different form of Charizard, which is a mega evolution. Um as you saw That's on the previous nuts. slide. You have Charizard here, and this is the mega evolution of Charizard. So this one mega evolution of it, Charizard mm -hmm. Y, it shares the typing. Um Charizard X, and I apologize if I mixed up which one is which, because they have a letter to determine the two, and I'm mm -hmm. stupid, uh, has some different typing. One of its typings is different. It is two types. Well, that's interesting to hear you say, because it still has wings, and it still has fire. That's true. But it is no longer one of those two types. Also... Look at all the different types. Other things on here can inspire wings. Water, steel, rock, psychic. Oh my god, is this a fairy? It could be. Uh, Charizard? It could be. I mean, keep going through all the types, like... Oh, dragon. Okay. Water, steel, rock, psychic, should help. poison, normal. I don't think any of those on the bottom are, are spe speaking wings to me. Okay. Fire, flying, <laughs> ghost. I don't feel like this is ghost. Okay. It could, like it, it could be, but my understanding of ghosts is like not what this would be. Um, grass, ground, ice. Just because of the coloring, I feel like it could be, but it would. I feel like it would. If it was ice, it, the fire would look different. Mm -mm. Um, fighting, fairy, electric, dragon dark bug mm, i don't i feel like dragon would also mm, well no this could be dragon because of the shoulder spikes mm -hmm. but fire and dragon i feel like this is weird coloring to be those two things sorry can you give me the name back So, which of the two do you think is still consistent? Fire or flying? <clears throat> to get halfway there, at least. And then which do you think is maybe something completely different? I think it's still fire, because, like, Charizard is about fire. Mm -hmm. It's in the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's in the name. Okay, so I think fire. Still. Okay, okay. And then instead of flying... My three thoughts are dark, dragon, and fairy. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't like. I don't know what fairy means in the context of Pokemon. My understanding of fa what fairy means a aesthetically outside of Pokemon would suggest not fairy. Um. I like that train of thought. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like ghost would just be slightly different. Although, ghost, now that I say it, fly. That's true. As do bugs. To just throw. Also, psychic Psychic is also a thing that like leads to flight in Pokemon 2. You, you're correct in ruling out psychic. I just want to throw out that psychics are like they float and levitate themselves. Another like thing in Pokemon. Like mm -hmm. There's some weird stuff in Pokemon. Interesting, interesting. Um, also, yeah, uh, fairy... So, Pokemon originally had um, most of these types. It did not have dark, it did not have fairy, and it did not have um, steel. Uh, second generation, they added dark and steel, and then very recently, like, I quote-unquote recently, like, I think it was... Fifth gen, they added fairy as a new type, and a lot of things just got fairy type that were not fairy type before. So it's a it's a more just like added on thing, and lots of stuff changed with that. Um, Matt just called out that I should explain the the and fairying, and yes, oh Gen six was fairy. Yeah, Thank fairying. you. Thank you, Digital C. Mm. Um, so and fairy is also like a more community. more recent thing too. Okay. I don't think that helps you at all, but no. Then then okay, I like. This feels like, okay, this is where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your explanations. This has been helpful. I feel like 
this is either dark fire or ghost fire. Mm. And I kind of want it to be ghost fire, so I think I'm just going to go with because ghost fire would be sick. Ghost I don't fire, think that's actually ghost fire would be sick, but that is that is yeah, incorrect. It is, it is it's fire dragon. Um, oh man! And that's mostly because in the fandom, people have complained about Charizard being fire flying since he came out. <laughs> um, of like people are like it's a dragon. He should be a dragon type. <laughs> and when they like finally added these mega evolutions, they're like, well, one of them's mm -hmm. fire flying still. You can finally have your dragon type, and then he mm -hmm. is is this. Um, all right uh fire flying is quad weak to rock <laughs> how do you make a dragon more dragon yes this was their attempt to make a dragon more dragon was was this from previous all right interesting what type is this Pokemon? Ah! um if you want i can give you the name if you think that will be helpful um or you can guess at the name which to, yeah to to come on close but no it doesn't end in mon because it's not a digimon <laughs> oh right 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 damn it damn it to, um, <laughs> uh i can't i can't tell what the other to tupo i can't tell what the other thing is like no toucan way you can guess what the other thing is it is to canon <laughs> lol oh that's amazing um but yeah, what please, what typing? Please tell me it shoots. That's the cannon nuts. And speak. <laughs> um, I've actually never played a game with this Pokemon, so someone would have to give me a hand here on oh. let me know that because I, I don't actually know. Um, but this Pokemon has a wild evolution chain, and I'm also gonna just show that on screen after because I don't understand this. How <laughs> how does it get from point A to point B? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> a lot of things with Pokemon don't make sense to me, but that one I want to call out because I didn't play this game and I don't know where it came from. Um, so yeah, uh, thoughts. Is how many? It just has one. It, type? Oh, this has two types. Sorry, yes. Oh, it has two types. Okay, what what does normal mean in this context? Normal is weird. <laughs> um, when I mentioned that like fairy got added a lot of pokemon that were pure normal types became fairy types or normal fairy types and like got that typing because like it didn't mean really anything but it was on a lot of pokemon <laughs> um normal type actually this might be helpful normal type is weak to fighting um okay and ghost type cannot hurt it but it also cannot hurt ghost type Interesting. um if I'm forgetting any other type things, please let me know, chat. I think that's it. Um, yeah, if you want to know other Pokemon type advantage, disadvantage, I can try to remember some of that information. I also do forget some of that stuff. Um, it also isn't always helpful. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And is it the sort of thing of like, would it be clear from the visual okay, Matt that put, it, Matt... something is type bug? Uh generally yes um okay. if it looks like a bug it's probably bug type is a yes that's true um map okay. made a very good um point about how normal type works pokemon are evocative of creatures out in the wild normal or closest to home home slash common so they seem more like things that you would like see at like oh, in a city or in your like town or something like or that something. interesting um, that's a very good description thank you matt thank you matt Okay, interesting. But there's nothing, there's no reason to think that because this is a bird, it's flying type. Uh, most of the time, if you saw a bird and you said flying type, you would be correct. Occasionally, that is not the case. But it is a very good gut instinct to have. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so since since it has two, I'll go with flying. Yeah, flying is correct. That is one okay. of its two types. Okay. And then it shoots a cannon. <laughs> yeah, sorry, did someone say, uh... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, is that even right? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, beak Blast is a move that it has where its beak heats up super hot and then burns the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> is this also a fire flying pokemon that'd be hilarious i 
don't think I have type overlaps. I'm going to double okay, check that okay. real quick right, just because. Um... But it heats up. Yes, I, it does not look like there are typo. Uh, yes, no type overlaps. Okay. It heats up, which means that it's like not ice or water. I don't know what ground means, but it doesn't feel like that. That wouldn't be poison. That, it, it like might be electric. Its signature move doesn't always have to do with its typing also. Like the, the beak move is like, it's, it's like, it's a special move that it has. Doesn't necessarily mean it's typed that way. Um, not to like, I don't want to throw you on a, a goose chase, mm -hmm. but the, the observations you're making are, are good so far to me. Dash bullshit. Um. Also, Matt right, explained um... this evolution line to me and I hate it. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like it's either electric or fighting. And because I, I'm going to go with fighting again because I did it the first time. And I'd be pissed if I did, didn't did do it this time and it was fighting. Uh, it is it is normal flying. Um, um, I'm curious why it's normal. I honestly think fire flying would have made more sense, but Pokemon are weird. Um, so it's evolutionary line. It evolves from two woodpeckers. <laughs> it, what? Yeah, it's it's a woodpecker, and then a woodpecker, and then a toucan. And Matt's explanation for this of toucan's evolutionary line may reference modern phylogenetics. Its evolution from woodpecker-based Pokemon seems to be based on the fact that both woodpeckers and toucans are members of the Picaforms order of birds, even though they live in completely different regions of the world. That's wild. <laughs> That's huh. wild that they're related but are not that i biology's stupid interesting interesting sounds like a question for the dna pokemon oh <laughs> my lord um what type is this pokemon do you have How any do you i'm assuming by saying my lord you've never seen this pokemon before and also no, the fact I that you said you didn't think they could be people <laughs> uh i'm gonna just give you the name of this one it's hitmonchan <laughs> I uh, hope it's fighting. It'd oh, this is so yes. This is one type. This is one type. type. It's got to be fighting type. That is fighting type. That is correct. Oh, thank God. Um, oh my goodness. I I like that you kept knee jerking to fighting type when I was like, oh, there's a fighting type that's gonna be so clear of. Yes, fighting type <laughs> just means it punch good. <laughs> here for it um oh yes I'll also to it. to digital seas or sorry to matt's point uh pokemon does love three stage normal flying pokemon for whatever reason like you early on catch a bird and then that is a flying type and it's normal type and that is a continual theme yeah to cannon should have been fire flying okay well that's a fucking nightmare <laughs> uh would you like to take a stab at its name or do you just want the name no, it's not I'll called nightmare <laughs> Like, mm. this one I believe is one type. To is this yes. Okay, its name is Meltan. That actually makes me like it better. <laughs> I mean, yes, it yes. <laughs> uh, is it steel type? It is steel type. That is correct. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, next. This is a form of a Pokemon that was in the first movie, um, uh -huh. so you might know its name. It was a it was purple and didn't have smokestack hats. Any guess about this Pokemon's name, or do you have any kind of memory of two Pokemon kind of like tumored no. together? <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Uh, Do you, would you like the name? Oh, 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 mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, are they like viruses? Are they like little virus? Uh, no. Cells? Well, okay. maybe. I don't, actually, virus is not a bad... Oh, I'm going to just give you the name. The The name okay. is, um, it is Weezing, the Galarian form. It evolves from coughing. Um, Weezing? Yeah, Weezing and coughing. Um... Okay. From... I have to hope this is type poison? That is that is correct. It is poison. It okay. is two types. Um, ah. The original form is just pure poison, but this one has an additional type to it. Um. Interesting. 
interesting. Okay, so going through some thought process, I feel like electric poison could make sense with the smokestacks because it's, like, industrial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I don't get electric, actually, from what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. um, it could be ground because it seems like it's, like, poisoning the ground or rock for the same reason. So... Raw, uh, poison mixed with raw. So ground is immune to poison because oh. Pokemon rules. So poison ground and poison rock are pretty rare because like earth and poison like don't mesh generally with their like scheming of things. So well, that's possible, be... but unlikely. Okay, uh, it'd be very on brand if steel this is also immune to poison. poison. Sorry, yes. Okay, okay. It'd be that's interesting because it kind of feels like. Oh, Digital C corrected me. Sorry. Ground is not immune to poison. It just resists it. Steel is immune to poison. Thank you. <laughs> interesting. It's That's interesting. It kind of feels like an evolution rock, ground, steel. Or steel, steel uh, ground, rock, steel is like an evolution of three in and of itself. Mm -mm. Um, it'd be funny and hash hard on brand if it was normal poison because this is just like what capital does. <laughs> Um, uh, that would be very but good. But I don't. I, my, I don't. I, based on your your explanations <laughs> of normal from Max and Chat, um, I think that is probably not correct. Um, it could be. It's it's like steam powered, so it could be water. Um. Um. Wait, it's steam powered, so it could be fire. Mm -hmm. uh... It's also a living organism, so steam powered may not be. It, it could be true because you saw there's a car, but it may not also be true. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, that's me picking picking at my pant in distraction. Um, they're also flying, but that's not new to this iteration. Hmm. Galarian form? Galaria, uh, Galarian form, it's the, the region it's from, like, um, is it pronounced Galar? Is it a Galar region? Am I fucking up that pronunciation? I think it's just Galar region. Hey, Maggie, thank you for Can the I raid. Get... Hey, Mags! Sorry, I'm about to sneeze as I said that. Crap. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna sneeze. All right, cool. No! Great. Could, could I, could I get, like, a hint? This one is hmm. kind of a trick question. Because all the things you said poison? would make sense, and the secondary typing on this one is very weird. Can you be, like, double poison? Uh, no, you cannot. Um, also, drones, thank you for pointing out the shout-out. Did that not work? No. All right, I'm going to do it the... this way. Okay. You're, you're saying it's a weird thing, and I, I'm going to go in literally the other direction of what I said before. Of it would be on brand if it was normal poison because that's what Captain does, but also it tricks us. So I'm gonna go. It's it's psychic poison. Psychic that's poison my final answer. Would be very good. Also, it would be very good because a lot of psychic types do have levitate the ability to to fly. Ah. But it's poison fairy. <laughs> I don't know how the fairy okay. gets in there, but it is it is a fairy. Why? I don't need the weapon. Um, my friends are my power. Interesting. All right. Next. We have this Pokemon. These are two forms of it. One is the Mega oh. Evolution on the right, the left one. Um, do you want the... Uh... Is this a Gorgon? Something like that? Gorgon? No. No? Okay. This is then, a, yeah, give me the a name. Steelix. A Steelix. This has two types. I would hope is one of them Steel. One of them is, in fact, Steel. That is correct. Okay, good, 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 good. Um... I'm going to go with rock. Very close. It is actually it's ground. ground. <laughs> yes. Damn it. Damn it. But Damn rock it. rock is the correct assumption. Its body is chunks of rock. Like, yeah. yeah it's, Pokemon's weird. All right. Also, next. for the raiders who are wondering, I'm checking mm, chat yes. in between questions, but I'm not looking at chat while I'm being asked a question, which means that y'all can spoil as we go. Yes. Um. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, just to point out, bug. there is only possibly one Pokemon that is Psychic Poison, which is Galarian Slowking, um, which is kind of wild. <laughs> T.I.L. Um, next, we have this good friend of a Pokemon. Uh, get, do you have a guess at a name, or should I just give you the name? It is one typing. Uh, no, I, it's, it's Screaming Buzz, which is a Neopet to me, so... It's Dunsparce and the Dunsparce. Dunsparce. <laughs> and there's also a, a third one that I couldn't find a picture of, which is it's Dun Dunsparce evolves into a two segmented Dunsparce, which is yeah. the Dunsparce, and then it also can be a three segmented the Dunsparce, which is a the Dunsparce. Incredible. Also, as oh, a note, man. you might mm -hmm. see this head here. These are its eyes. This is its mm -hmm. mouth. Does it have a little beard? Yeah, like the little spikes are a little beard on its mouth. I didn't realize that for the longest time. I just thought it didn't have a mouth and it just was like on its back looking up. No, it's on its stomach. That's its back that you're looking down on. Oh, interesting. I thought something else. I thought it was on its stomach and those were its eyes, but its mouth was just under the spikes. Oh. And it was just like chilling. It was just like a little like grubber like yeah, no, that 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 would also be good. Yeah, there, this is a a weird one. Um, is this not bug? It is not bug. Um, this is a. Have you heard of the Tsuchinoko? It is a Japanese mythical creature. No. It's a fat snake. <laughs> it's a fat snake. It's, Tsuchinoko is a fat snake, which is Does what this is inspired by. Does that mean it's type grass? It is not type grass. Oh man! All right. This then this goes back to it. Matt's clue of of normal types. It is something you can just see around home that is oh, sure. kind of weird. So it's a pure normal type. It's a cryptid. Oh god. <laughs> yes, a cryptid. Um, Fascinating. All right. Dragon. Next, we Next. have two forms oh. of the same Pokemon. You might know the one on the left, because the thing you did forget to mention is you have played a lot of Smash. Um, right? You played Smash in college, didn't you? Am I... Fully forgot there are Pokemon in Smash. Yes. Yes, there are. <laughs> so you yes, might know this I one's only... name. I, mm, I, I don't. <laughs> I only ever played as two characters in Smash. I just went back and forth between Zelda and um, Jig Jigglypuff. Oh, I thought you played Kirby. You played Jigglypuff? Oh, no, no, I played Kirby. Okay, right. okay. Um, when I see Kirby in my brain, I think Jigglypuff. They're basically the same. Yeah. Um, this is Lucario. Lucario. What is the Cario from? From I the have, word. I have no idea. Because I, I, I think the Lou is from loop. Like, the same thing as, a, like, the loop, loop song. Like, we played as a loop in um, Neopets. Possibly. I have no idea. <laughs> The idea that most of them are two things together was not a thing that, like, I just thought that was occasionally a thing. I did not realize that was a trend, so my brain is a little uh, bit broken on some of these naming patterns. Interesting. Uh, this is one type? This is two types. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Two type? Lucario is two type? And is there anything that I could glean from looking at these photos of Lucario that would help me discern that? That he's two types or that, uh, the, the, the type, the, the types in general. Um, one of them you could probably guess one of them is a stretch, but you could also possibly guess it. Um, this one's, this one's a little bit more challenging. This one's also like a weird typing mix, which is, which is, yeah. What does he look like he does? What does he look like he's good at doing? Chilling. In um, combat. <laughs> stabbing. Yeah. That's a, that's a good, good guess. What else does he look like he's good at doing? Dancing. Yes, that's also a good, good, good guess. What typings could those mean? <laughs> That's the harder part. <laughs> uh, the the like spikes are making me think dragon. Mm, okay. Um. 
Bug, dark, dragon, electric, fairy. You said there's only one fighting. One's plain fighting. He's two types, so there might oh. be there might be some overlap with what's all right. I would I would I would I would think this dude's pretty good at fighting. Yes, that is correct. Stabby stab. Lucario's okay. good at fighting. Okay, Got so I'll do thick I'll, legs I'll for kicks. Fighting, yeah. <laughs> He's type fighting. Um, ice round grass. Post. Could also be flying, just because it's like he's dishing his back. It's the that's the the wind going in his hair. That's uh. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. You you did say something um, very specific that he's good at. That one of these types dancing? is very much that thing. Are are fairies good at dancing? Fairies are good at dancing, but that was not what I was thinking of. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, stabbing? Yes. Mm, you can stab stuff with steel. You can, like, psychically stab. Mm, stabby, 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 stab. Uh, hmm? Would you like to go with either of those? Should I? Should I go with steel? I'll go with Steel's correct. Ah! Yeah, Lucario Yay! is fighting steel. but Steel because he's got knives coming out of his hands, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What type are these Pokemon? Two oh Pokemon. Oh, my goodness. Um, um, adorable? They are type adorable. This is semi-trick question, but it may not be a trick question because the direction your brain goes is different sometimes. Interesting. <laughs> uh, would you like their names? Yes, please. Looks like an owl and then a, an eagle. Uh, they are Inke and Malamar. Oh my god, I want... Oh, what is that cookie called that has... Is that called a Malamar? It's called a Malamar, yes. The, the yeah. <laughs> joke I was going to have at the end of this was, here's a picture of a Malamar, uh, but it's also spelt Mallow Mar, like right. Mallow, like right, a marshmallow. Right, right. Um, but yes, I, I took that out because um, oh, timing. Also, we are hitting two hours much faster than I thought we would. Oh, shit. Okay, because I also can't stay late tonight. Yes. Um, um. I think we, we can finish the rest of this in time, but... Uh, I'll okay. be a little bit more pushy with uh, getting to type answers. Okay. They both look like birds to me. Like, that looks like a cute little owl. Okay. And then that looks like an eagle. Uh, so I I feel like maybe flying from that, but I'm not I'm not committed to that. I'm not going to go with that. Okay. Doesn't scream bug to me. Doesn't scream dark. Doesn't scream dragon. Uh, the lighting, the light up yellow parts could mean that it's electric. Mm-hmm. Um... Fairy, I still don't really understand what makes something fairy. Um, I this isn't screaming fighting to me. Not ice. There are no more fairy types. Friend. To don't okay. worry about fairy ever okay. because <laughs> it's a weird. One. Yeah. <laughs> um, not ground, not grass. I don't really, I don't really either. Um, I don't, I don't still understand what ghost means in this context of like, do they look like a ghost? What does that mean? Um. Do you say this one has one or two types? Two types. Two types? Okay. Not fire. Um, I don't think either of these things is like... Um, they don't look normal to me. They don't look normal. No. I could also see the, the bright yellow spots being poison. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I still don't know what it means to look like your type psychic. Definitely not rock. Definitely not steel. Definitely not water. Um... Digital C has just said, Max, this one is impossible. Why is it here? <laughs> um, yeah, I, do you have a guess? I, I am realizing that you you are drawing the wrong conclusions on every time. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, then, no, 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 I think, just tell me. This is, this is dark psychic. Interesting. Um, the the dark is supposed to be, it's got evil eyes now, it's got this, uh -huh. and it's, it's the psychic, the psychic is was the trick part of this, because you were supposed to think it's water type, because they're squids. Um, oh! Not, not birds. 
But uh, for uh, <laughs> impressive train of thought there. <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh, I see. I see. They're totally squids. <laughs> we have two more. <laughs> um, okay. These ones, I'm just going to give you the names to just move on quicker. Jellicent. Jellicent? This is the male Incredible. and female versions of Jellicent's. Um, Clearly very normal. Yes, yeah. Um, but not fair. This is two types that you have not used yet. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Digital C just asked, Lily, have you ever seen a squid? <laughs> <laughs> I even know that they have beaks, but I was just like, like so focused on the, the 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 other part. I was like, that looks like a bird. So this this uh, name should help you guess at least half of it, I think. Um the name with like what it looks like. What is this what do these things look like to you? Jellicent. Uh jellyfish? Does that mean Water type? That is correct. It is water. Okay. Jellyfish. The other half you may not be able to guess, but it's it's a type you haven't guessed yet, so maybe you maybe you will. Interesting. <laughs> is it a type we haven't seen yet? Like we that hasn't been it hasn't been an answer yet, or just that I haven't picked yet? I don't remember anything you've picked, so it is not an answer cool. yet. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, 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 okay. Um, um here, wait, let me, my mom just texted me. Second, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's not till 7.30. Um. Um. Jellicent isn't, so a jelly... Mm. Cloud? There's no like sky or air. They have so many types. Flying? Flying is no. a guess, but it is it is not flying. They're ghosts. Okay, okay. All right. I see it. I see it. Um, all right. And this one is a repeat. It's one type. So it is one type that you've used before. Okay. Their names are Household and Tandem Mouse. They are Ma two mouse, two mice hole? that become a family of mice, and it is one That's Pokemon. Actually, fucking adorable. Uh, but it is it is all one Pokemon, even though it is multiple Pokemon. I don't understand this. Um, but yes, Tandem Mouse is the left, and then Mouse Hold can evolve into a three family Mouse Hold or a two fa or four family Mouse Hold. Um, um, I would I could see that being normal because that, mice. That's correct. Oh, okay. All right. Yay. Woo. Nice. Um, sorry, I've been trying to do math while uh, <laughs> things make things go quicker. All right, cool. We've moved on to the where in the world section. Oh, my God. Where have Pokemon games taken place? Oh. I've got a pretty map. Um, I'm not going to make you guess the names of places, but okay. um, this is from the first generation Pokemon game. The Kanto region is the name of the region. Where do you okay. think this takes place in the world? Pellet. No. Palatown um, <laughs> is this one here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, are they not all Japan? Uh, is that your guess for this one? No. So this is supposed to be a place in the real world. Yes. They are all inspired by places in the real world. Oh. Some of them might be Japan. Some of them might not be Japan. Who can say? I. Certainly not I. Kanto? <laughs> Is the is the name of the place a reference to the area that it is actually meant to be referencing? Yes. I do not know a lot about geography. Um This one is very straightforward because the name of the place is the place it is inspired by. It is the only one that is that case. So this is inspired by the Kanto region in some place. Oh. I'm just going to default every, everyone I don't know is going to be Japan. Uh, Japan. That, is, that is correct. This one is Japan. Okay. <laughs> uh, next, we have the Johto region. Um... <laughs> is that fucking Portland? <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, fun fact. Uh, in uh -huh. the, Johto is the second generation Pokemon game. 
you could travel back to Kanto. Um, so it is close oh, so enough. China? That no, it is. It is also mm, Japan. No. It is. Oh, oh, oh It is okay. physically right next door. This mountain range oh, here oh, 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 separates oh, oh. Kanto and Johto. Got it. Oh, okay. Uh, next, we have the Hoenn region. Um, this is. Uh, make sure I'm not. This is yeah, <laughs> more more like a set of islands together, a little yeah. bit more south than the this previous Hawaii? regions. Uh, no, that is not correct. This one's also okay. Japan. I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, man, I should have just said Japan for everyone. Uh, <laughs> our fourth one here, the Sinnoh region. Um, Japan! No, no. This, this I'm, is, is this all going to be Japan? This one is also Japan. Um, the first four regions are all Japan. These are where they choreography, like, geography line up with, <laughs> with Japan. Um, the Svei Islands are a thing added in, like, a an extra version where you can go to back to Kanto and go to extra islands. No more of them are in Japan. <laughs> All uh, right. Next we have the Unova region. Um, if you want, I can give you some hints to this. Because this is, sure. since it's no longer Japan, um, you'll notice that I there's... really, I, I thought, I was like, they're all Japan. Okay, sorry, <laughs> go ahead. Um, it's a big metropolis city. Um, mm -hmm. There's a like a nice park area in the middle of it um like very connected to these outer areas with this like central area is the main part of the hub of the city mm -hmm. any guess or would you like more hints well i don't know the answer based on the hints you gave it's somewhere in the americas somewhere in the america I can give you more specificity from there. Sure. It's the United States. Okay. Specifically, the East Coast. Really? What? Uh, the final final hint, I'm currently here. Uh, yeah, is it New York? It is, it is like, New okay. York, yes. Um, yeah, this the Central Park. I was trying to say Central Park area oh, without saying Central Park. Oh, and then oh, this I is... See. Manhattan. Fide and this is all Manhattan, Brooklyn, and, and, um, Interesting. Jersey. All right, next. Huh. The Kalos region. Um, <clears throat> this is in Europe. I'll give you that. It's just like straight off the bat. Um, okay. Mm. I've got a sec another, another hint for you here in picture form. Hmm? This is a street uh, in their main city. But this is, is a it France. It is France. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> next, we have Alola. Whoa. It's a fucking vortex in the. Yeah, ignore. This is all very pretty art, but ignore yeah, the it's that stuff. It's a it's a set of islands. Some islands are bigger, oh, some are oh, smaller. Oh, 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 Alola. Is is this Hawaii? That is. It is Hawaii. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Alola, like Aloha. Um. All right, next, we have the Galar region. Uh, this is also Europe. Um, Al Altador? Altador? What? Sorry, just to bring back Neopets. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is also Europe? Yes. Is it the Alps? Is that why there's all the... It's um... got a lot of water, so... Okay, oh, lol, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what the very the very beach heavy switzerland experience um this is also europe you said yes is this italy like the boot of italy it is not this is the uk okay. Oh, it's a it's a straight up island, which you can't actually tell from this art and they don't really show you from the games. It kind of just like huh. ends, but it is it is the UK. Right. Um, and then this is uh, Palladia. The newest generation Pokemon game is set here. Um, yeah, this is also Europe. They, they've had like a stint of a bunch of Europe's. <laughs> I feel like I should really know what that is. Is that is that um, like Greenland or Iceland? has neither of those are in europe oh lol <laughs> i did know that <laughs> um uh 
Is that like a dead? Um... This in the middle is not helpful. Okay. I will throw that out. The mountain-ish areas to the north, and then um, the like more beach-ish and like desert-ish areas to the center south is more helpful. A, a city in the center as the capital is very, very like helpful. Um, I got nothing. Uh, would it help if I said it's uh, like it's surrounded by water, but there is one landmass connecting here. Um, it is uh, a place I've been before that I really like. Spain? It is Spain, yes. The, the okay. Iberian Peninsula. Okay. Um, so yeah, all, all Portu right. Portugal. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to skip this question because there's no reason to go into it. And it's, I just want to talk about how oh, HMs and TMs are floppy disks and CDs. And we don't have enough time for that. Um, which was the first Pokemon? We have Bulbasaur, we have Mew, we've got Rhydon, and we've got Arceus. Is this like chronologically in story, which was the first, or chronologically in It is game intentionally game a vague release. question. That's the only clue I can give you. Bulbasaur? It That's the only one whose name I know. intentionally vague. Because uh -huh. it is a trick question. Oh, 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 are they all from the same generation? They're not all from the same generation. The first, the, the, these three are, but uh, Arceus is not. They are all the first Pokemon for different reasons. Oh, okay. Bulbasaur Tell is the first more. Pokemon because it is number one in the Pokedex. Rhydon okay. is the first Pokemon because it is the first Pokemon that was designed by, um, oh my god, what is the artist who designed the Pokemon? Uh, did I put it in notes? I... Uh, Ken Su Sugimori um, designed right on first. Mew is the first Pokemon because all Pokemon were born from it. It has the DNA of every Pokemon. Oh, and wow. Arceus is the first Pokemon because it's literally God and created the world. <laughs> oh, wow. Good for Arceus. You yeah. created the world and you created Pokeballs? Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's a world we live in. I have not looked at chat in a little bit. Um, apologies. Uh, do, 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 do. Lying about the most important area. All right. We're going to now go to the best section. Uh, <laughs> Lily. Which is the best Pokemon? Which is the best Pokemon? Um, everyone, you will please read chat while this is happening because everyone should make their case or throw shade on other Pokemon that they don't think are the best Pokemon. And Lily, you have the final decide here. I just want to point out one thing I realized putting these slides, Only this slide is. together. Um, I can tell you any of these Pokemon's names if you want to know. This one is called Snom. Um, oh my god. If you look at it... Is that it's Nozard's butt? It's an Among Us that got frozen and is lying dead on the ground. Ah! But actually, this is its face. The little black spot is its eye and that's its, its mouth. But your, your thought of is that its butt was like, oh my god, ah! this is an Among Us. <laughs> was ah! wild to me. I'm going to do math real quick. Lily, if you could look at chat and catch up on people saying which one is right i think drones is making a stab for core fish there though but but these are all suggested okay, which, by people in chat or oh, in the discord oh, and such these are of these is the best one yes everyone has okay. put forward at least one or two pokemon that is the best um okay well i have to say first of all i can't see the pink one on the top left or oh. the purple one on the top right Okay. Um, but I feel like the answer is not either of those. I'm going to make this a little smaller then so you can see. Ah, that cool. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, the purple I'm one's pretty. Continue doing math while you the, do okay, go for it. The little elephant is super adorable. Um, I I like it more than the blue one next to it, but the next the blue one next to it is pretty cute. Uh, I see now that I have already uh uh disappointed digital C. <laughs> um Bulbasaur is a classic and I'm familiar with it, so the nostalgia is definitely making Bulbasaur seem more adorable to me, I think. Um the one underneath it wearing the the skull is super cute. Uh I feel like I've seen that one before as well. And I like it. Um I'm so sorry the the other rock dino thing in the middle is not my style or the rock thing in the other one. The, I am familiar with the bottom left one, but I don't like that it's um, 
its uh, friend is biting it. I don't. I don't. It like evolves that. by um, a Pokemon biting its tail. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I was that gonna draw like Slowbro as the Pokemon, Pokemon behind me, but I I ran out of time. I was very mm. sad. Slowbro um, is one of my contributions. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Um, we can't actually see what Mimikyu looks like, so just uh, disqualified in my <laughs> opinion. The very, very circular one, the penguin one at the top, is also super cute. Um, the uh, sorry, this one, family that this penguin yes. one, this is a yes. grass flying type, by the way. <laughs> you can tell by its green bow tie that it's grass sure. type. Sure, uh huh, <laughs> it's called okay, Royalette. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. <laughs> Diddle C yet again says, Lee has never seen a marine animal. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like it's a trick question. The answer is that they're all the best Pokemon. Aww. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of vying, so that can't be right. <laughs> um, it's an owl. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, that's lame. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Rowlet, because it's like an owlet is the... The oh, second half cute, of that cute, name. Cute. Sorry, right, didn't cool. explain that I'll as I said it. it. I'll take it. Um, but yes, if you have a, a vote for which is best, I have your final score. Okay. I. Mm, it's the skull one in the bottom right corner. Cubone. Cubone's the best one. You have selected Cubone, the Pokemon who wears the skull of his dead mother. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> It, oh, is, oh, oh it is the saddest Pokemon of all. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Which is a perfect choice. <laughs> uh, yes, this was a contribution by Vert. Uh, he wins, we all lose. That's that's correct. Um, and we all lose because Cubone is sad and we can't do anything oh. to make Cubone happy. Um, Maggie, what was yours? Oh, Maggie's was Cyndaquil, this little fire friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Not my, not my type. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, I can put a poll in Discord. We, Lily has to end like right at ten, so just like quickly want to get to scoring. Uh, Lily, how well do you mm -hmm. think you did? Um, um, I think I got somewhere between forty and seventy percent. That's a very wide range. Um, yep. <laughs> you got 164 points out of out of a possible 230 points. This means that you got 71. percent You did better <gasps> oh than my God, it you wasn't thought. Even out of my range. Was... You were you were <laughs> you you crushed it. You did amazing. Um, hey, even cat. with <laughs> hey cat. Um, even with the. Uh, even with the, uh, <laughs> the numerous trick and evil questions, uh, <laughs> you did great. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining. We will be back tomorrow with yes. um, the Case of the Golden Idol, which is a puzzle game. Maggie was Ooh. just streaming that recently, actually, which <laughs> is it was cool. It was fun. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks so much for joining. Uh, yes, thank you all so much for being here and also for contributing. Yes. So amazing. Um, and oh, I didn't talk about. I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt. Oh, I don't need to talk about it. Show it. My friends are my power. power. It's Professor Darwin with his theory of evolution, and it's Darwin with lots of Pokemon things. I'll post the picture later. Um, but yeah. Nice. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Ninja, no. Take it off. That uh, is not. <laughs> I'm no, no. <laughs> uh, That's for next time. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Um, stay safe. Stay sane. Stay healthy. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.